The defending champion trying to dig herself out of an opening round 76. They moved the tees up at the now drivable par 4 sixth. So green side over there, an eagle chip in for Se Young Kim, four under on the day. Sponsors exemption, taking full advantage of it. Two under round 70 yesterday, Birdie at 16 drops, and Fossey holding steady today with a chip. Jessica Corda. Both Corda sisters played well yesterday, but it's Jessica, the older sister, playing a little bit better than Nelly. Her second at the ninth. This came off a of bogey at the eighth. A birdie for Jessica. Three under for the champions, who won the U.S. Women's Open title a couple of years ago. Birdie at that sixth hole, which is the easiest today after it was the most dip. From 175 to 200 yards, 17 feet, Tom. Austin Ernst. That's pretty impressive on this golf course. It's pretty impressive on any golf course. This is just going to leak to the right. Of the greens here are pit. This is Sand Wedge. Coming off a double bogey, which really hurt her momentum. She was putting together a great round, but that will help. Yeah. Similar to the shot she just had at the previous hole. That's low, a little left of the target. It's going to be safe. Not much more than that. And it is uh, a ways away, Karen. Right bunker. She could have easily gotten home in two if the drive would have kicked left instead of right. Solid contact there, a little right of the hole. I think, Dan, this whole location today is, is really influenced. They would rather be in a bunker than the rough, so that kind of levels the playing field in the bunker versus rough. Zhang Yun Lee's six at the tenth with her third, Ooh. and that just got stuck in that collar. Five. And coming off a, a pretty good week last week, she was third going into the final day in Grand Rapids. Shot 75 on Sunday, finishing a tie for 29th. But Uno at the par 5 12 hit her third shot in the water. So with the drop here from the zone, and it looked like a five all the way, oh, didn't it, Karen? For goodness sake, really? Didn't it? <laughs> Easy par. Yep. For the 2019 AIG Women's Open champion. Started off with a bogey and kept the string of par. <laughs> and this little chip shot for Sagstrom. Trying to get it up and down here for birdie. And that is why six is playing the easiest today. Trying to take enough club to take it. Out to play. That's a four hybrid. That's turning left. That yeah, might but, miss a bunker yeah, left. Yeah. Yeah. Is going to miss the bunker. It's going to be up on top. That also at the very left edge. Isn't man, just left the left edge. Mm, going to miss it in the bunker and maybe towards the back of that bunker. Could be an awkward stance for Charlie. Fair away from the bunker. She she definitely finishes that follow through. Good, good two putt there from Sagstrom. She's got a couple of holes to play and is tied for the lead here in a major champion. Was at the 16th. Has a nine iron in hand. This plays five or six yards more uphill. Cannot see the surface of the green. Just creeps. Hill putt. These greens that are set into the hills are pretty severe. And that was well struck. There to be a tap in par for Norquist. From at the eighth. This plays a little bit uphill. What a shot. She has been hitting about 80%. Half club. So a nice smooth one. Oh, that's coming in really low. Coming down the stretch under pressure. This is Danielle Kang, and that is leaking right. That's got to go. Well, you could tell that she was... Oh. Ooh. You could tell that she was having too much club. She played two clubs back of the team. 
to nine. Final hole of the day for Sagstrom. Movement from left to right in this hole. Asking for it to go, which means she's flirting with the bunker, and I think she's caught the sand. See Young Kim coming up the hill at 16. Now 10 shots back since Boudier put seven under on the board. So that's a start to kind of chip away at it. Including Austin Ernst. Second at 16. Four under par going along. Oh, perfect. And a chance to get a 67. This would equal the number that Lizette Salas put up yesterday. And not high enough. Still, really good round of golf for Madeline Sagstrom, and she is uh, in the hunt for a second LPGA Tour win and that first major over the weekend here. He said no time is right in front of an uneven crack. No way to get to the back of the ball cleanly. Wow. How about that? Talk about danger lurking at... Osley. Over to seven. And Celine Boutier's birdie look. Just to get it to eight. Oh, under. wow. wow. What a round of golf from Celine Boutier, who did have the lead at the U.S. Women's Open in 2019, tied for the lead heading into the final day, ended up finishing in tie for fifth. But this is uh, quite something. Nine. We can give this one a wrap. See that flag starting to blow there. Well, this is this is what Jerry was describing. Oh, the green where the flag is blowing across. But on the tee, it feels like it's downwind. You know, that's why you. 81 front edge. Light breeze open. Really contemplated between the five and the six. This is right at it. It's a club. It is right at it. Oh. <laughs> Jessica is going to have a very good look for the third eagle of the day at the par five 18th. Leading the way. This ninth hole, Tom, playing under par today. It's been a, a good season for Celine Boutier. She's 37th in the race to the CME Globe. The points lead. Just a slight chance of rain on the weekend to conclude this major championship. Charlie Hole looking to conclude her Friday with a birdie at the last. Yes! Charlie Hole with a definitive statement going into the weekend. Caps off a one under round of 71 to the ninth. And the second for Boutier. For another win in her rookie season. Let's go to 18. Third at the par five for Ernst. Not bad at all. Double here. Jin Young Ko for birdie. To get to plus two. How clutch that could end up being. Self, trusting her team. And that's huge. I mean, we've heard Madeline Sagstrom also say the same thing. Trusting herself. This golf course leaves no room for doubt. It was a bogey-free first round for Salas. And off with a good drive at the opening par four. Team. And a player making her 21st start in the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. Angela Stamford trying to make the cut. Two over par should uh, see her in without any issue. Foltz has joined this group. This is for birdie. Yeah, unfortunately bogeyed the first, but nice bounce back there with just a pitching edge into the screen. It's a big drive there. Huge through the film. He's got to be uh, one of the longest tenured caddies out here. Long time caddy of Patty Sheehan back in the day. A little bit of a downhill lie. That was an eight iron. Sounded good in a nice direction. Yeah, nice way to start there, Kay. Just what you're looking for when you perhaps are a little anxious. 17. Gabby Ruffles in the early stages of her professional career and makes a birdie there. It's been a good day for Gabby. A sponsor invite this week. I think there's probably always a, a sense of... Because a lot of these bunkers aren't quite in range. She has a little bit wider 
room to use off the tee than a lot of the players. Hanako Shibuno for another rare eagle at the 18th. Pumped that that landed because that puts her at plus two, and that's where the cut line is right now. So Hanako Shibuno with a huge eagle. At eagle look for Celine Boutier. There you go, Ooh. and there's your new sole leader at seven under, who's got an eight under round going here with three holes to play. Boy, was that ever smooth looking. Well, it's not always Ruffles, the 2019 U.S. Women's Amateur Champion. She played this same side yesterday, which was her first nine. Triple bogeyed this hole to shoot 41. Ten shots better coming home in 31 today for the second best round of the championship. That's some seriously good revenge. Second from the bunker. Pretty steep lip in front. Shouldn't be an issue, and it wasn't with the nine iron. This, if it's the right club. Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Chip to USC. She survived a three-hole playoff just to get her LPGA card at Q School. How about this? How about this? Oh, my goodness. That's a bonus. <laughs> and Lizette Salas off to a flying start here in the second round of the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. Uh, rely on a pick. Over at the 11th, this is Leona Maguire in that bunker. I've seen so many players in there this week, and this is just going to trundle on down to the hole, and it's going to drop right in for Leona Maguire. Lovely way of playing that. Did you see the way she threw her hands into that shot? It's just tremendous. Back at the 12th, it's MB Park. Let's just say it. Is she the best putter in the world? I'm going to say it now, yes. I mean, come on. Jeez. <laughs> I, I think that when you go back in time and that's one heck of a good looking shot just left of the flag. Oh, this is terrific. One of the best we've seen. And Nelly Corder with a chance for her third birdie of the day. Helps without doubt, but I think that you have to accept whatever golf gives you in order to get to that spot. She talked about it yesterday in that lengthy press conference she held. She said she needed to learn again to like herself. She said, I wasn't much fun to be around. On 67 yesterday, here's a birdie at 10. Well, and this is just a great example of what Lizette's been doing. She's been making putts from all over the place. Wow. She's all of her green circulation. Impressive. That got her to 10 under par 3, can she speak? The winner last week in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Nelly Corda for birdie at 4. Gets that one to sneak in the side door. Speaking of two, that's where we are with Lexi. That to get to three under on the round. But still a long ways back. Yeah. Tom, I don't know what's more impressive, her ten birdies or the fact she's yet to make a bogey. That to five. This is the second shot from Nelly five. Corder. Carry and sit. Carry and sit. Part five, she's going for it in two. Carry and sit was the caddy's instructions, and it did. It listened. And a chance for an eagle coming up for Nelly Corder, but while we have a moment, let's join Steve and Carrie. All right, let's go out to the leader. And Kay at the 12th. Uh, this drifting right. Oh. And that's a, that's a big miss for Lizette, I say. Jokingly, she missed. Down the hill. Lydia thought it was in. And it's just going to be a birdie for Nelly, but this is impressive. Gets her to five under for the day. And seven under. It's very accurate in all her, all parts of her game, but particularly with wedges. Okay. Pure as you can get in that regard by definition. And this looks like a seven wood out of Nelly. That too is left to where she wanted it. Not much. Just needs to fly. Ooh, how's oh, how's this? Oh, yeah. Wow. Really nice. That is a fabulous shot. Now 
Now back at four with NB. That rhythmic motion. Uh -huh. Just about whole high. It's the same across the board for her. That a lot easier to wait on a putt, though, Jerry, I think, than, than waiting to hit the tee shot. Yeah, especially on a hole like 15 this week. Uh, she hit that where she wanted. That just turned a little right inexplicitly. Well, especially with the water left, you kind of would expect it to break a little bit that way, too. Right, so if there's such a thing as settling for a birdie, Natalie did just that, and she has a three. I'm going with five iron. A little one had the six iron out as well. And Oh, my, look out. Is that right on it? Oh, it is. <laughs> Watch out. What a shot from Nelly. 14. <laughs> Congressional and then Baltus roll the next couple of years. We're talking a lot of horsepower for this event. Stand closer to the ball, so that would help enable her to flatten out her, her swing on the downswing. And that shallow movement is so key to playing these joys of fairways well. I mean, you can see how cleanly she picked that off just because that shallow, shallowing. Good. And no doubt, I mean, when you're looking at her greens and regulation stat, I mean, yeah. Four birdies in a row. Tom, in addition to this short birdie putt, she's had three makeable eagle putts this night. Wood, wind picking up, hurting. Cannot miss it right. This is drifting. Oh, goodness. Just gets to the front of the green. She's had a couple of those shots. Keep a low off this pine straw. Hard part is there are a lot of roots right under it, so you're just guessing that's going to be that's a pretty good. Stopped really quickly for, for Guan coming in low. She had to protect against knocking it over the green from there, though. That was always going to come short. Still a great shot. How do you play out of the pine straw there, Ken? Well, I mean, obviously, you're trying to keep a stable, stable footing. There wasn't an awful lot of pine straw behind the ball, so she could get good contact. Nelly will be tied for the lead. It's going to turn a little right off that slope and then straighten out as it nears the hole. Oh, Jerry. Oh. Jerry. Oh, man. <laughs> Nelly Corda, another one. For Nelly Corda, T at the ninth. Not the most wide open tee shot on the course either. Three wood. Oh, that's just, that's just laced. This whole playing under par today, Jerry, too. Oh, we're taking it around that left side and it's going to get through. Birdie. The final hole of the day finishes up. But she has been, for the most part, down the middle of the fairway and pretty much has hit every green. Missed one by an inch and a half. This is a six iron. 152 plays six yards uphill. Drawn that in. That's her comfort comfort shot, a little draw. Yeah. Nicely done. Another green hit in regulation. Was That's that? how you make the game easy, Steve. Fairway. Try to get it to the hole. It's worse figuring. Nelly gonna go flag hunting here, Jerry. Well, just a little pitching wedge. And just making the game look easy. Oh, flag hunting indeed. Up there that we saw just finishing up. Oh. Masterclass today from Nelly Corder on the back nine. Six straight birdies, home in 29. And she leads the way. Double up the eighth to 16 now, and Salas makes her par. I would say this, though, that at the same place that Lee Trevino said. Oh, and that, that had a really nice line. Just lacked the speed. Shows you how hard it is to meld everything together on the break and the speed to get those putts to drop. One hole to play on Friday at the KPMG Women's PGA in Lizette Salas. An ideal number to have left. She only needs to hit about a 140-yard shot to have roughly nine. A good full one.
Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the way to hit your last shot in. Beauty. She's opened a major with back-to-back -back rounds in the 60s just once in her. Full striking clinic in terms of what she can do on this golf course. And I think she's going to, she's got to feel like she's got to maintain that, that kind of form. 17 greens, five birdies, no bogeys in 36 holes.